everyone in this video i am going to discuss about the oldest part of india any idea which part of india is the oldest yes you are right it is the peninsular plateau you know the word peninsula means a piece of land surrounded by water from three sides whereas plateau is an elevated land having a flat top and steep slopes in other words you can say it is a table land structure where is this table land structure found in india to know the answer you need to look at the map of india the plateau is located in the peninsular part of india that is the southern part of the country somewhere here it is triangular in shape and composed of the old crystalline igneous and metamorphic rocks have you ever thought about how was it formed it was formed due to the breaking and drifting of the gondwana land what was gondwana land gondwana land was an ancient supercontinent that broke up about 180 million years ago the continent eventually split into land masses we recognize today as africa south america australia antarctica the arabian peninsula and the peninsular part of the indian subcontinent thus we can say that the peninsular part of the country is one of the oldest land mass on the earth it has broad and shallow valleys and rounded hills this plateau consists of two broad divisions namely the central highlands and the deccan plateau in this video we will talk about the central highlands in detail so let us find out its location first here you can see we have narmada river north of this river you can find the central highlands it covers a major area of the malwa plateau it is surrounded by the vindhya range from the south and the aravallis on the northwest the aravalli hills extend from gujarat to delhi in a southwest to northeast direction these are highly eroded hills and are found as broken hills west to the aravalli hills you will find the sandy and rocky desert of rajasthan do you know there are many rivers which drain the central highlands for example the chambal the sindh the betwa and the kain all these rivers flow from southwest to northeast but why it is because they follow the slope of the region hence The southwestern part of the plateau is higher than the northeastern part of the plateau due to which the river flows from southwest to northeast thus you can conclude that the direction of the flow of the rivers indicates the slope of the land hope this is clear to you any idea which part of the central highlands is broader The central highlands are wider in the west but narrower in the east. The eastward extension of this plateau are locally known as the Bundelkhand and the Baghelkhand. They are located somewhere here. When we move a little further, we find the Chhota Nagpur plateau. It is here in this region. where the damodar river flows i hope this much is clear to you so children let us end today's class here in the next video we will continue with 
the Deccan Plateau. Do like and subscribe to my channel if you found my video interesting. Thank you everyone.